and welcome back to another episode of World War Selection. In today's battle, we have the Mafusha, the Polish gladiator in the red, in the bottom middle. And he's going to be up against a Chinese player. Just round the corner from him, over on the right, in the yellow. And he goes by the name Shrimp and Pig Heart. Don't blink. So, that's an interesting one from Don't Hit. So we're going to name him Don't Blink, this one. And we've already found some fish, some juicy fish in here in the north. Let's reveal the map. As you can see, the map is quite small. Very small. Keep the, keep the front. Here we go. Got a little pathway across here with loads of fish as well. Got some cows and more fish over here. Oh, loads of fish and some couple of alligators to guard that. But you should, well, three alligators to guard that. But you should be all right to try and get them out of the way and some more fish up here that they're, they're not going to be shy for any food that's for sure and they have their own iron all the way at the back here so luckily there is iron and luckily it's not in the middle where they have to fight for it those kind of games can go to go a little bit boring and then uh, we've got some iron and some wood on the islands at the top but probably won't need that because this is Mafusha and we all know how Mafusha plays Mafusha likes his Stone Age play oh look we can see he, he was about to get that warehouse but he quickly cancelled it and realised there was fish there and he's gone straight on to the fish uh, let's see where we at now we've got some huts on the wrong side of the base but now he's putting him on the correct side towards his opponent to block anything coming in and do we have any upgrades we've got the wood upgrade don't really need the berry upgrade because we've got plenty of fish all right is that alligator gonna get triggered we'll soon see once they start going for this fish but there's a long way till they start getting for that fish look how much food they have they're both on about over 400 fish temple going up I mean, can, does the temple need to go up? And here we go, Mafusha moving moving across. Oh, trying to dodge the boars. Trying to dodge the boars. Not happening. Igno gonna just ignore the boars and just get... Not gonna waste time and need to get those pits up and running. Realises now he needs to run off. Ah, he's... Get the two pits up and running. Looks like he's gonna go warriors. He's gonna go warriors. He needs to deal with this boar he doesn't realize he's oh here we go the first alligator has been triggered hasn't had any kills so that's good i managed managed to save his workers we've got some upgrades going here looks like he's going armor first oh here we go the bulwarks are up and running for mafusha don blink has reacted by putting his own bulwarks down oh, look at that he's even trying to get the uh fish that's close to his enemy's base R Mafusha has run out of food kind of overspent here but over here don't blink has got his food is 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 not being killed by boars too he lost two workers there gonna lose some workers here being chased by the warriors I mean this guy don't blink he's not just sitting back and taking this from Mafusha he is trying to Fight this off the best he can. Mafusha needs to be careful. This alligator is trying to find its way into his base. That's going to be a bit unfortunate. Now Don't Blink is taking care of Mafusha's bulwarks. And he's going to start taking down some of the pits possibly. But he does have some workers there to repair it if need be. So that's going to be a waste of worries. Mafusha goes, runs for it. Going to try and do some damage in Don't Blink's base. And we've got an alligator over here that got a kill. Don't blink back on the pits again. One worker there trying to repair, but it's not going to be enough. More warriors have come in. Warriors now in Don't Blink's base. Trying to chase down some workers. Two pits down, possibly three pits down. My future switched the slingers, but it's not enough DPS to try and stop the, pit, the warriors. From taking down the pits 
three pits down is he still stone age he is so he can get some more pits up and running beautiful eco there for don't blink at the moment got a decent amount of wood there he can upgrade all his houses um using now his workers to take down all of the bulwarks sir uh, now he changed his mind he's gone back he's got this area here nice so he can't get any wood from there but that's all right there is trees over there can't get trees from here because there's an alligator so he's stuck to that part see some blue prints going down or green prints going down for my future for more bulwarks he has fully switched to slingers and he's going to start trying to do some damage there we're on 42 40 40 workers there for mafusha good good amount good amount and only th th 34 workers there for don't blink so he's down on workers but he's up on tech and he's managing to get a couple oh god there's four kills on that alligator oh god i warned everybody about that alligator you got you gotta deal with your alligators you just you just can't ignore them my fisher with the infinite amount of food right now placing down a ton of bulwarks towards don't blink space don't blink has to now be forced to get some shooting ranges he does not have that much wood more bulwarks going down here coming up there Ooh, some workers get guys still going still going gonna surround his base but we do have some macemen out of don't blink trying to take down some the bulwarks but it's not enough and he's got has his own slingers now as well the archers are out the archers will do damage to the bulwarks which is nice losing some workers are very important matter workers there which you did not want to be doing nice has he got his population? He has got his population upgrade. He's at 61 of 90. Mafusha is probably only on. He's only on 53 of 90. He cannot get too much of a big army at the moment. The best he can do is just keep spamming these bulwarks. He has, he's running out of food though. He is really running out of food. He still has his berries. He's gone back on the berries. He's still take, dealing with the, the fish here. There's plenty of fish. So he's not going to run out just yet. Some army splitting over here to this side. Not too sure where they're going to go. I'm back on the fight here. Some good defense here. Slingers and archers. Another bulwark going up over there. Not too sure what that's going to do. You're better off just putting them all here. Really struggling for food now, Mafusha. And he's, he's not max pop. He's only at 47. And he doesn't even have that much wood by the looks of it. He's not even he's not he's not getting much wood here. He's, everything's on food by the looks of it. He needs he wants to keep this attack going. And he needs that wood to get to build Maceman. And he still hasn't managed to kill this these two pits. These pits are staying alive. He's got workers. Oh, we got a ram as well. Ram takes takes care of that bulwark and he puts another bulwark down he's gonna run out of wood once he runs out of wood he's gonna stop production and switch to stingers only and let's have a look he's at 60 pop which is nice and don't blink he's only at 56 supply here on 38 workers no food no wood he's spending everything he can but he is mining a bit of everything he's got a load of workers here now got some units there trying to deal with the bulwarks at the back of his base meanwhile mafusha is moving in closer and closer still still has not been able to take down these pits and the amount of stuff that's shooting here it's it's, it's amazing they've stayed alive it is really amazing and it was very important that they did stay alive to get them units up and running because at the moment he's got upgraded stingers but he does not have upgraded archers so the slingers are doing more damage than the archers at the moment all right so that's some spearmen out some macemen oh we've had some pits over here from 
Mafusha as well, he's not giving up. He's only just putting his tempo down at 18 minutes. By the time that's complete, that'll be about 20 minutes until he reaches Bronze Age. But he has him surrounded. And he's putting more bulwarks down. He's going to have to just send, deal with this with the workers. He does have a ram. He's got three rams here. That should be enough. And the spearmen. But that's making him broke. He's got no wood. And and uh, looks like... Oh, nice repair. Everything going on. He managed to even to repair the houses over there. But this is a good defense so far. From Don't Blink. You don't want to blink again, this guy. Don't blink or you lose all of that heavenly glory as Bruce Lee says. Look at this. Look at this. Completely surrounded with red, with Mafusha. The only thing he has going is that he can still get this tree line. Once this tree line is gone, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble unless he could take care of some of these bulwarks over here. Still the pits are up. And that's how he's only at 63, 64 of 87. He needs to max out. And how, how are we doing over here? Finally, we at Bronze Age. The farm's going up. How's the eco looking there for Mafusha? Mafusha's doing pretty well. Oh, one and a half thousand wood. Plenty of food. Houses upgraded. Just dumped a whole load of wood on something. Maybe, oh yeah, he built the uh, chickens ducks so he's got a lot of pits got five six seven eight pits so once that farm is up and running he'll be able to out spam his opponent no problem there'll be a load of coming out here some nice macemen some slingers i'll be able to take care of that angle some macemen from this angle some maybe some warriors coming in from this angle Oh, he even managed to upgrade his bulwarks there. So he's had to waste another three rams. That's a lot of eco. He's not cheap. They are not cheap. And he doesn't have much wood. 130 wood. But I think that was the better choice. Here we go. We're going to go over here. Oh, he's going to trigger the alligator. Oh, he's going to have to spend some bit of time trying to get rid of that unless... Oh, yep, yep, yep. He's going to have to deal with that. I think he notices it. Uh-oh. More hand rams. Finally, hand rams are being... There's a, there's a reason for them. They're being useful for once. Except this guy. This guy's just given up in life. But you know what? He's keeping them alive. Keeping them alive because they are... Did he just get rid of them? He, he just cancelled them. He wanted the bigger army. Fair enough. You did kind of need to kill these, but how are you going to get round to that? I think he, he needs to deal with... He's got other issues here. He's got wood problems at the moment. And... Got a whole lot of stingers trying to deal damage to his stingers, his workers here. So he's... he's Got three towers, that's good. Got some archers. Remember, the archers are weak. So they're still not upgraded by the looks of it. He's trying to get the upgrade now. He is at Iron Age, which is beautiful. What he could do with the Iron Age, I don't know. He might be able to get some heavy spearmen. That might help. But there's a lot of there's a lot of slingers coming. A lot of units. Now the macemen are flowing now to try and from Mafusha to try and do some damage to these buildings but don't blink realizes and chases them away as quick as he can go oh, should have just gone for it should have gone for that get the production buildings it's back onto here oh he's gonna have to mine this while these towers are shooting he's got no choice could have just finished this off but there's also this here, if the, all this wasn't here, he'd be able to put a warehouse. But yeah, you know, he's got he's got an army coming in from this angle. He's trying to chase this away. We've got some heavy spearmen now. 
he's at max pop. This is his best this he could do. Mafusha at 75 of 90. He needs to keep spamming units. He is spamming units. He's out of wood whilst trying to. Oh no! Oh! Careful of your waypoints. Careful of your waypoints. That's eight units. Eight very, very strong, important units. Not doing anything for a long time. Taking up space. No! He's got a choice. And there's more added to that now. They just keep coming out. And the waypoint is that way. Why is it getting stuck there? Now it's, now it's moving along. But these guys are stuck. Might as well just delete. Don't delete the pit. Delete the units, I'd say. This is a great game from Mafusha and Don't Blink. Let's not forget his full name. Oh, well, Shrimp and Pig Heart. Don't Blink. He likes to eat his opponent's hearts. So you better not blink or you'll lose all that heavenly glory. But he's in trouble production building gone down these masemen are doing pretty decent damage taking down the houses now he's gone back to this tiny oh did you really need a warehouse for that come on 150 really really i wouldn't have i would have just long distanced i would have long distanced i don't know how he's gonna get out of this these towers here and here they, they literally uh, the worst position there could be for him should have got some boats possibly as well Bo boats would have helped here then he wouldn't need that much wood he's gone for this this tree line here this tree I should just say one tree right so we're gonna try, my fish are trying to find an angle to to get into to do some damage he still has not upgraded his pits He's behind in tech. We've got 56 workers for Mafusha and 50 workers, 51 workers now for Don't Blink. So pretty even there for workers. I think Mafusha should be thinking about getting some shooting ranges and possibly upgrading these and start getting spearmen heavy spearmen he's got got plenty of iron here for don't blink plenty of iron here for mafusha he wants to try and finish this game in stone age but i don't think it's gonna happen the archers are here the archers are doing damage now they're upgraded yeah they're fully upgraded where is he tech for that there we go there Heavy archers are being researched as well. He's going to be behind if he does not start building. There we go. There's the shooting ranges. And it looks like Mafusha will be heading over to Iron Age very, very shortly. The damage has been done. He's forcing his opponent to mine awkwardly. And a big wall coming up here from Mafusha. He knows that he's going to lose this front line especially look at the guys even microing doing a little dance here nice warehouse there close to the tree this should be enough okay He's going to upgrade all the towers, got rid of all his pits. He's going to stick with his shooting ranges, but don't forget he still needs one barracks to upgrade. He's, um, needs to delete that as well. Need to delete that. Come on. Come on. Uh, what was the point then? What was the point of deleting that now? Hello? It's like the silence after the war. What's going on? What? We killed some troops. Here we go. We've got some troops being killed because he wants to get a ballista up and running. He's going to snipe that ballista now before it's built. Yeah. Nicely done by Mafusha. 
he's gonna have to deal with all of this before he can get to the wall to deal with the wall but we do have West Asia for Don't Blink oh he's, he doesn't know about building houses if you build four houses first you get to like 120 pop straight away but if you upgrade all these houses which cost you tons of money that will actually still only give you 120 is something so it's better to just build four houses medieval houses and then slowly upgrade these houses that is the better way more efficient way okay we've got two blisters they're gonna start taking all this down no problem whatsoever the heavy archers are coming in what's the population like has he got his yeah he has now it's just all about he's got plenty of wood he needs to he has got plenty of wood he just needs to well they're all going Should have left some there at least that's okay so he's got plenty of wood he's got plenty of wood he needs to build some houses upgrade some houses something oh it's too late my fisher all the workers are gone should have stayed here could have sniped the ballistas you could have sniped some workers but too late too late oh, these ballistas are doing great work here oh look they got blue hats today the doors closed the doors open the doors open how are we doing for tech here we are about i think we're like nearly at medieval here yep and he looks like where is he going where's he going looks like east asia the east asia versus west asia oh nice repair nice repair here i wish i wish sure this guy isn't related to oh i forgot the name man You're confusing me now this guy's don't blink don't hit me. Yes. Is he related? Don't. Ah, oh, we lost it. Now they're not related. Anyway, he's gone West Asia. The doors open. He's upgraded on the whole of his wall. The whole of his wall. Do you know what that does? That the only thing that does. There's a bit of damage here. The only thing that does is just delay your opponent from breaking the wall. The wall is still gonna go down. Here we go, we are East Asia, we've got some houses up. Got load. Actually, not that much on the farm, is there? A bit clumped up there, so that's not great. Uh, population upgrade, nearly done. More ballistas being produced here from Don't Blink. 116 of 150, so he's got plenty of population to pump out units carry this push on but I don't know man these Chinese players they don't like to max out they like to beat their opponents with the least amount of units they can and oh that was terrible that was terrible losing the ballistas there but towers going up here West Asia tower which is nice nice repair nice repair nice repair my fusha tried to snipe it did not work lost all his archers and that is not great big big wave of units now coming in 137 of 150 with one ballista. Is that going to be enough? Oh, he's going straight for the shoot shooting ranges. Ah, uh, he's got too many heavy archers. Blink. You can't just keep building heavy archers. You can build normal archers. It's about the numbers at this point. Could have built four from that. 116, 145 from Mafusha. It's not enough. The shooting ranges were too close. Don't blink straight in. He did lose that one ballista. He's going to build another one. His workers are following his army, which they should be. If he could take down his shooting rangers, he, Mafusha, is in big trouble. Big trouble. Number one goes down. And he's building ballistas right in his face. He's, he knows he's taking the army down. He's sitting outside the shooting rangers every time. A, Archer comes out, it's dead on arrival. Like this guy. I managed to kill one before he died. But that's it, the shooting ranges I've got. Oh, there's one more here. I'm trying to get a rocket cannon up. 
Trying to get towers up, but he's got no money, he's got no wood. Oh, look at that tower going up right in front of my future's base. How the tables have turned. You wanna build bulwarks outside my base? Well, I'm gonna build West Asian towers outside your base, and I'm actually gonna start going for your temple. Look at the eco behind them as well. Beautiful push by don't blink three ballistas now he's gonna try and repair but the archer is gonna come in and deal with these workers these pesky workers who try to repair it not gonna happen and that's a GG that is a GG and that is a game of don't quit if you're gonna be if somebody's doing that whole bulwark thing, don't quit. Take a deep brave breath and just focus and just get ahead of your opponent. And you'll be able to push him back. Oh, we have some boats as well. Is there anything in the boat? Anything in the boat? Nothing in the boat. We've just come to kill the workers. Ah, that was a great game. Well, I hope you learned something. Definitely a tutorial type of game that was. Until next time, goodbye.